we should say something about how the stream has started. The stream has started. Hopefully. Just because he's playing the game, don't put the hosting burdens on him, Mike. Oh, man. Hello, everybody, and welcome to On the Stick After Dark. Has it started yet? It is starting, and I'm apparently uh, yeah. recording, so I, yep. need to, I need to calm down. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, you need to calm down, Mike. It's calm an On the Stick stream. Down. It, this, is, this is the secret Genesis game. Is it? Th not really, <laughs> no. I, anyway, this is On the Stick After Dark early, half an hour early, because... Eric, Steven, well, Allen not, freaked out on us. A, it's not a half hour, dude. It's like well, 13 minutes, right? 15 minutes. It's half, <laughs> a, half of it, half an hour. Before dark, when it's kind of darkish. Kind of dark. On a stick, kind of dark. There you go. Anyway, on this the is... by the firelight. This, this is Death Road to Canada. Uh -huh. This is a road trip simulator roguelike set in a zombie apocalypse. Is it a road roguelike or a roguelike-like? Uh... I mean, depends. unless you're moving around, like, at the same time as enemies in a turn-based fashion with ASCII art, it is not a roguelike. It's a roguelike like that. No, see, I don't think that's true. I think, like, um, like the Mysterious Dungeon games and, and, and uh, that kind of thing, that qualifies as a roguelike. It's, it, you're moving, and you're moving at the same time as the monsters, but it's not an ASCII. I don't think ASCII oh, yeah, is, I don't is there I don't. I agree that ASCII art is not the most important um, part, but yeah, it's simultaneous movement, permadeath, random stuff. Right. Equals yes. rope like, but right. this is seems like this is an action RPG with randomly generated stuff and permadeath. Yes, but so... it's also a great stream game, specifically because you can make custom characters, and in this case, I made the on the stick group in custom characters. Ooh. So just to go through them really quick, I have six of us. I don't know if the stream caught up yet or not. Um, every time you make a character, you set their appearance, and you can also give them a personality and a trait. So just to go through the list, uh, I made myself. I am a karate asshole who's super paranoid. <laughs> is that an option? Yes. Uh, I can vouch for the fact that that is all 100%. Eric accurate. is a friend of dogs, and he fixes stuff. Which That's also accurate. So he likes to attract dogs, and you can recruit dogs What's to your that? team. A friend of dog inventive. Yes. Uh, Calorie Mate is a healthcare nut. He's always worried about health, but he's also a huge asshole. So ninety percent of the time, whenever a situation happens, if you have Calorie Mate in your team, he'll tell him to cool it, and that will either get us free stuff or will piss him off really bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Joe, you're basically a beat 'em up character. You start with a lead pipe, and you're super strong. But you have a bad Just temper. Like real Joe. But that you have, used to be true. Yes, but you have a bad temper. So generally, that means you always solve your problems by punching things. And most of the time, you rob people. I, this is the least <laughs> accurate person you've created in this. You, you have a lead pipe. Well, uh, swap punching people for, like, angry tr Twitter screed. Mike, I had to take some liberties with your character because you're already in Canada. Uh-huh. All right, That's so right. this oh, MC wow, Banjo Mike <laughs> is... He's not in Canada is an explorer so he has the okay, chance okay. to give us a third option when given choices but he has a mysterious past because why are you in florida instead of canada mm, that and that sense. means you start with the random stats every game so we never Ooh. know what your character is it's not that i just wanted to go to SeaWorld. <laughs> I, my, my head canon is this is other mike from skype so, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. And Kurt is basically the street man. He's the most prepared for this. He brings guns. He's the calm under fire. But for whatever reason, the game never likes to give him to me. And I've played through this about maybe 20 games and only beaten it twice. And I've never had Kurt in my party. Speak of the devil. Yeah, it's Kurt is in your party. Right here Whoa! Your party. What All are right. you talking about? So, let's start this. Um, that was scary. For, for this, I'm going to pick me, of course, as the leader. Uh, you can pick a buddy, so you can have up to four people in your group at a time. You can start with two, or you can choose to start alone. Starting alone has the benefit of using less supplies in the beginning, but you also it's easier to get swarmed if you get a bad roll on like a siege map, which is basically like survive. So, who wants to be my buddy? For the sake I think of the Mike screen. should be your buddy for the right. mystery. We'll, get random, the we'll mystery get random Mike. Mike. And f as you can see, I've beaten it twice already. There's different game modes each time. You can play like a short game, a long game, harder game. 
And then the three main modes are the normal mode, which just gives you random party members every time you come across them. Familiar characters has a higher chance to get your custom characters in the game. And fun. the one that I prefer playing is the rare characters mode, because it's basically special characters that are all fucked up. So okay. they can either fuck you over really bad, or they can be extremely good. The last game I played, I got uh, the guy from Ridiculous Fishing, who yeah. had a super <laughs> shotgun that can just mow through... Uh, crowds of enemies. Um, I had one other game I played earlier in the week where I got Mason, who is basically Jason, and every time his morale gets low, he randomly kills a party member to make himself feel better. <laughs> <laughs> so just for this, I'm going to play familiar characters, and let's go. So the story of this is you start in Florida, and your goal is to get to Canada because it's the last surviving nation on the Earth because of the Canadian Mounties. They're the only things that are stronger than zombies. This is fact. This, this Do they all is... use cattle prods to face... To... You know what, Eric's not here, so that joke isn't going to land. Uh, I mean, we're not going to get to it tonight, because games usually take about, like, two and a half hours if you play all the way through and, you know, have normal luck. But, uh... It's their jaws that actually yeah. really dissuade the zombies, though. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So, the fact that they can ride horses backwards. Uh, I'll just spoil it now. Um, when you get to the Canadian border and you get to the Mounties, they fight off the zombies with robots and hockey sticks. And the oh, robot uses an ability called the Azer Beam. <laughs> <laughs> Azer. Right, so, let's... Oh, I see. All right. <laughs> So to start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You'll also need to find ways to train and grow your team. So the first choice you get in the game is always going to be a choice of what to raid first. Depending on what you pick depends on what supplies you'll find. Usually they're... Basic, usually they you can tell what it's going to be. Like if you raid a hardware store, you're going to find hammers and stuff there. If you raid a supermarket, you're going to find food. If you raid a hospital, you'll raid a uh, you'll get a bunch of medical supplies. But sometimes you get special things. Like uh, one of the events that I found was saving an alien from the zombie apocalypse. Oh, and dang! Do you get the alien on your team then? You don't get the alien. You get his UFO, which uses no gas, nice. and that's like the best vehicle in the game to have. Nice. All right, but can so, you just fly over all the zombies? No, it's it's, no it's like a UFO, UFO car. car. It has wheels. It's like a hovercraft. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, nice. any okay. any preferences on where we go first? I think like, the, the Quiet Factory seems like a good place. All to... right, Quiet Factory, usually, usually you find a bunch of weapons, but you don't really find food and stuff. So You well, find no good. noise. All right, so Mike, you start with a knife. I start <laughs> so with my bare hands because I'm a karate asshole. Uh... The martial arts perk is actually pretty decent because you can pierce through two zombies, which you normally can't do with starting weapons. But so you this, punch right through them with your fist? Yeah, it, but the only problem is it's not really that useful later on in the game when you start getting swarmed. It, like, it's really good for the start of the game, but kind of bad for later on. So this is basically the general... Um, way the game plays right now is uh, every time you pick an area, you play something out like this where you're going through different rooms fighting off zombies trying to find different supplies you'll find food you'll find weapons sometimes you'll find gas in toilets which i'm looking for right now unfortunately you'll find gas in toilets yes gas okay. bullets food anything they can literally be anywhere they'll indicate it with like a little sparkle on the thing uh for like the sake of evil yeah for the sake of the stream i'm gonna try to rush through most of these areas so we can get through decisions more so does is this like like shadow run on the genesis like mike is just controlled by the ai yeah uh they do team. have a two-player mode that you can play but i haven't actually tried it yet um they're supposed to do an overhaul to the two-player mode next month i believe because right now you're limited to the one screen and you can't separate right. but oh, um okay. i think they said may was going to be the update where they allow you they implement more of a toe jam and earl style where you're on one screen nice. when you're close to each other but then when you split up it goes split screen nice. so they're constantly updating the game the developers are constantly talking to the community trying to figure out what works what doesn't work uh i think their last big update was april like earlier in the month which added yeah. a bunch more random scenarios in the uh, game how long has this game been uh i uh, want to say it came out last summer i want to say either august or september so it's fairly new but they're 
They've been planning updates like literally every two, three months for it. Alright, next event. Group yeah. finds an empty spot along the road that looks as good as camping as any. The weather's clear and there's no sign of danger in any direction. We can either eat and rest, or, because of my paranoia, you can't fool me, and we can just drive away. <laughs> I like that the symbol for this boring stop is a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Usually these are safe, but I'm leaving it up to, to you guys. Can't fool me. Alright, can't fool me. Fuck it. Keep moving, keep Coffee moving. Coffee decides that the... Spot looks too safe, and the group ends up peeling out of there as fast without eating or sleeping. Coffee feels smug in knowing that theory. he avoided that threat. Mike's morale decreased, but my oh, morale like increased. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> so happy that we're hungry and thirsty. Yeah, so we're Mike's both. Like I didn't get my Timbits. <laughs> so we're both uh, tired right now, and well, that, basically, yet, Kurt. that basically means um, the more if you have the tired status on you, you attack slower and you can attack less times than normal. So the amount of times you attack is determined based on a fitness stat, which I can't tell right now. So all the stat most of the stats are random until you do a roll and figure out whether or not your character is good enough to do it. And um, certain perks and certain traits will allow you to tell characters stats immediately. I think the paranoid perk has a chance to, you know, tell ever tell a stat when you recruit somebody immediately what they're good at and what they're not good at, because you're oh, sizing them up. Hold eye contact. No. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we have two choices again. We can either go to the restaurant or athletic store. Uh, this I'm going to go to the restaurant. All right, yeah, let's go to the restaurant. restaurant. You don't even need weapons, so athletic store doesn't seem like a great deal for and you. And I'm going to give Mike a wrench. So, I screwed that up. Um, so, Every character can hold three weapons. Certain characters are better at certain weapons than others. Um, stronger characters are better at using the heavy weapons because they do more damage. Um, you can train characters in like gun usage, um, which I think Kurt is pretty decent at if I set him right. Uh, some characters are better at barehanded attacks, like the martial artist. So you basically want to pile more strength and fitness on them so they do more damage with their bare hands than weapons. Uh, I forgot to mention that too, the downside to being a karate asshole for my character is I can't shoot guns. Ah, I just refuse to- Yes, yeah, so I can pistol whip things with- if I hold a gun, like now I just found a shotgun, I can't fire it even though I have bullets, but I can still use it as like a weapon. It's just very slow and uses a lot of stamina. So wait, I thought you were going to the, the restaurant and you're like in a neighborhood. Y uh, let me find a restaurant. I'll do that. I'll just go to the immediate thing. So, there are other houses you can scavenge within the area, as okay. usually you want to do that because they have more supplies, especially in the early game when you're not really being swarmed. So, okay. the restaurant we're at is called Spaghetti Only. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully we'll find... I wonder find, what you're going to find in there. Hopefully we'll find food, but it Lingu looks empty right now. Some spaghetti. Linguini. Is it mom's spaghetti? That's what lasagna. Unfortunately, I think the restaurant. Oh, there we go. We have food. So it also has a. You can break things around the environment that have items in them. So, for example, like if you find a fridge that has food in it, uh, if you open the fridge, sometimes you'll find two or three pieces of food. But if you accidentally break it, it will drop down to one. So you kind of have to be careful around where you fight. Hmm. Nice. What so is the name of this game? Uh, Rocket Cat Games, I believe, is the name of the developer. That sounds vaguely familiar, but maybe it's just because like a lot of indie devs. They, they <laughs> are a Canadian developer, so they're experts on this game. That's why they sure. know so much about why Canada would be the last surviving nation. Sure. Just have to look they at also wow. created Wayward Souls, Punch Quest, Punch Hook Quest Champ. Hook Punch Quest was the was the sort of like boxing. Yeah, it was that... an endless runner boxer. Oh, right. it... yep. No, I'm thinking of something else. Then, what's the one where you like? It's like a you you create it's like a boxer the... and like train them, but you it's never like the turn do based the fighting thing. I know what you're talking about, yeah. but that is that Punch what... Club that I'm thinking. Yeah, of? I think maybe that's what I'm pretty sure. Punch Quest is like an auto runner on iOS. So we have a. Another choice. Audio repair. Punch Punch Club is definitely the thing that I'm thinking of. So the group gets frustrated because the CD player in the car is jammed, playing the same song over and over again. Who that should really try to repair it? Me off. 
<laughs> so we have a choice of either Mike or so, me. So it would really piss Mike off, so I think yeah. Mike should try to repair it. All right, let's try it. MC Banjo Mike removes the CD player and puzzles over how to fix it. He doesn't manage to repair it. The CD player remains broken and annoying, and our morale oh. decreased. And Mike, you have really bad mechanical. So that bad roll basically revealed what your mechanical set oh, is. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. <laughs> now we find out. <laughs> Kevin with Woods too. At least you know it could it could be worse. It could be like the the car in uh, Good Omens, where everything that gets put into the cassette deck automatically becomes a copy of Queen's Greatest Hits. So we have a chance to rest, and we have a chance to chop wood right now. I'll just say it now because this isn't one of the interesting choices. I want us to get some of the more interesting choices. I'm disappointed that we haven't gotten them yet. Uh, if we decide to chop wood, it will make us tired, but it will increase one of our strength. So. So we'll go for wait, it. We how, just wait, wait, how exhausted is everybody? That's uh, question. I don't think we've slept yet. Let me see. No, we we do. We have slept. Also, apparently, Mike, you believe in Santa? <laughs> well, where do you think the presents come from? <laughs> Canada? Well, yeah. if, you, if you've if you slept, then I would say, you know, chop the wood, man. All right, so we have a choice right. of who should chop the wood. It's really hard work. Just keep that, that in mind. Coffee. I'm sorry. Do we want to make Mike super strong, or do we want to make me strong? Well, you're the, you're the one who guy, punches, right? so right. probably right. we should. So I chop a bunch of wood, get the wood stove going before, uh, but before passing out from exhaustion, I'll be very tired tomorrow. But my strength increased, and I, the fire feels great. Mike, you have a good attitude, or your attitude's increasing. Is attitude the same as morale? Uh, attitude basically means how you react to things. So right. there will be certain things where you have to make a decision, and the worse your attitude is, the worse decisions you make. Mm. So see a car is blocked the road ahead. The pile up is so bad that there's no obvious way through. We can oh, either man, have aggressive off roading. <laughs> totally. All right, let's do some aggressive right. off roading. MC Bender like plows through the sh shoulder near the road. With a combination of being pissed and perceptive, the car doesn't crash. That's all right, I'm perceptive and mad. Also, your wits are really good. Oh, hey, I'm witty. Outside the Canada, most... Alright, so, trader camps. Uh, every so often you'll find a trader camp where you can basically spend food or gas for supplies. Uh, I've found it to be a really bad decision to spend food this early, especially if you don't have a lot. But if you guys want me to spend food, I'll spend food. No, that's okay. We can, is there anything else to you can spend, or is it just uh, food? Sometimes you can... Uh, so, if you have somebody that's charming in your group, they can charm people for free stuff, but usually that just gives it to them. But you can't trade gas for stuff or anything? Uh, you can trade gas for food, so sometimes you'll find a trader that will give you food for gas, so you can buy things at the... Uh, at the market. Traders. Mm -hmm. The only problem is if you run out of gas, you abandon your car, and usually abandoning your car means you run into worse shit outside. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm hearing a bit of echo on somebody's end. Yeah, I'm know. definitely getting an echo from somebody as well. Alright, so we're not going to get anything, so the trader basically was just weapons and strength training, but... Can you try to kill- is this like Spelunky? Can you try to kill them? You can kill them, but... You get kicked out of the camp. You can also try to rob them if you have somebody like Joe on the team, but that will also get you hurt and kicked out of the camp. What the hell? And we found just talking meat. It's nice to see a familiar face. He's yelling at some survivors because they made fun of his hair. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Should we take him or leave him? I think you have to take, take him. him. Alright, let's take yeah. meat. Group except just talking <laughs> meat to the team. Just meat. Alright. So, like I said, his perk is Friend of Dog, which now we're going to have a 70% chance of finding stray dogs that want to join our party. Um, I found a dog earlier today that could use guns. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is the greatest game ever. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So, this looks bad. Yeah, so, every, again, after trader camps, you usually go into a siege, which is the survive maps. So, these don't really have supplies on them more so than it is just trying to stay alive for a certain amount of time. I and assume it's not a real world hour that you No, have to... it's um <laughs> you, you can see the time in the upper left corner it's, of the screen. It's fifty five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's not an hour. 
What was that snap? Oh, you, uh, so weapon my weapon broke, yeah. So there is some uh, weapon degradation, but not on all weapons. Usually it's wooden weapons are kind of shit. Oh, okay. But metal it's weapons usually like last. Breath of the Wild. It's not like Breath of the Wild. You can actually use your weapons for more than five minutes. That's good. But, um... Yeah, it's usually the starting weapons are super weak, where the later weapons will generally last forever. So... Do your do your buddies actually pick up any items? Yeah, so the AI actually knows the values, like the damage values of the weapons, better than I do. So if they f walk over a weapon that's better than what they're holding, they'll immediately replace it. What's the uh, what, what are the thirteen maple leaves there mean? Uh, that's how many days it's gonna take to get to Canada. How many driving <laughs> days? Okay. So that's how many days I have to survive. So we survive. How much does that extend if you end up losing? Depending your on what car you have depends on how fast it ticks down. So certain cars are slower than others. Other cars are faster. Faster cars usually take up more gas, where slower cars usually take less. So it's a trade-off. Oh, so if you abandon your map. car, you find a different. Car. Yeah, you eventually find a different car. It's a siege map. You'll have to fight your way to the car, but you'll eventually you'll never be without a car for the entire game. It's just there's a certain point where your car will either break down or run out of gas and you'll be walking on foot. And that you kind of don't want to be on foot cuz usually your teammates will get hurt and lose supplies and everything and it's just a horrible experience. Right. Anyway, uh, we survived the siege map, so every time we survive, you get a chance to increase a stat or heal yourself. So we have four the choices. Morale is low right now, but would it be interesting if we got really sad? So the worse our morale is, the more <laughs> we fight. Is that interesting, or should we just kind of? Uh, there's a chance where low morale will make one of us kill everyone. Nice. <laughs> Well, I'm going to let you decide. Either boost our morale back up, or don't, and give yourself a plus one to everything. I'm going to give myself a plus one to everything, and I got an achievement oh, for that. Yeah, you're like an asshole karate man. Yeah. Well, I'm paranoid. I got a cinematic. So, it should go without, or I should mention this. Um, I've been to Canada twice in this game. I've made it to the end. And the only one out of the six of us who hasn't made it to Canada is Mike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm an explorer. I don't want to go back. <laughs> All right, so we have a choice. Um, we found cans lined up on a wooden fence. We can either shoot the cans or we can leave the camp. Shoot the cans. All right, shoot let's the shoot cans. the cans. Yeah, then the zombies will hear and they'll come. Group gets oh, some shooting really practice shoot. by blasting the cans. Our shooting increased, but a man in red long johns runs into the field with the pitchforks. My cans, my precious. My precious antique cans. Oh, look what you've done to him. He shakes the pitchfork as he yells. I don't care. My loyalty is revealed. Loyalty revealed. Mike doesn't care, and Meat doesn't care. Nobody cares. Now our choices are either going down because we're upset, or we can laugh at him. <laughs> well, we don't uh, care, right? So, yeah, so we, that, ha ha. We want to stay in character. All right. Yeah. We laughed at him. <laughs> but he's Santa Claus. Shouldn't I be... Shouldn't I believe in him and not want to Santa Claus doesn't wear red long johns, Mike. Here he does. Hey, we found Joe. It's nice to see a familiar face. He's humming up a little song and hasn't noticed the group yet. His trait's fierce-tempered and he's mega-buff. Should we recruit him? <laughs> Alright. Of course. Alright, group accept shake all, all, this, on your, on your all this is awfully on the nose, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Mike says hockey sticks are good weapons, no matter. For a long time, dude. <laughs> oh, I was right. I was mega buff like ten years ago. <laughs> so Meat just got cornered in a town by a group of zombies. He's trapped in an alley. At the end of the alley is a heavy garbage is heavy garbage and a large fence. He can either use his parkour abilities to get out of the situation or throw garbage at the zombies. He totally uh, knows parkour. He parkour, should do the parkour. parkour. All right, yeah, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Just Talking Meat awkwardly tries to scale the fence, but is way too out of shape to do so. The zombies attack. Just Talking Meat is hurt, and he has awful fitness. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Womp, womp. So, you can take four hits before you die, if you're not at full health. Or if you're at full health. Some characters have traits that allow them to take extra hits, but none of us actually have you, that. You, but you we just him. Yeah, we just healed him, so we had enough medical supplies to heal him. Alright, so four choices again. This is another loot map. We can either do a house rescue, swarm department, busy hotel, or explorer. House rescue... Oh, colored in now. So, yeah. house rescue, uh, there's going to be an NPC that we can save, and if we get him out alive, we can either recruit him to the team, or he'll give us free supplies. How big can our team be? Uh, only four people. So if we recruit him, we can, we're going to have to kick somebody out. 
And it's gonna, it's not going to be one of us that we recruit. It's going to be a random NPC that the game generated. Could it be an alien that gives us a UFO? Not unless the thing is glowing. So every so often you'll find a choice that has like glowing rainbow letters, and those are the special scenarios. Okay, so it's just going to be a randomly generated yeah. character. Or we I'm can explore. explore. I'm kind of thinking right. about exploring. How are we fixed for gas? Uh, I don't know, but we just... There we go. So we have a special one. We have Hunting Lodge. Um, the reason it's glowing is because it's usually going to be a cabin that's just filled with a ton of guns. All right, I have guns. That sounds very good. Right. <laughs> yeah. So like the aggression you. of the zombies on here is mega cheese. So every single one of them is going to be hyper aggressive on us. So this should be fun. Mm. <laughs> also, apparently, meat picked up a shiv. That's good. It was in the garbage pile. <laughs> In the in, in the garbage can. Also, we probably should have hit the cannon, or not the cannon, the cabin with the car because our car's about to break down. So shit's gonna get really bad soon. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, this doesn't have much. It's just a shotgun and a cane. So this may have been an awful decision. <laughs> Oops. Why well, was blinking then, man? Glowing my ass. Right, so we found a huge stuffed bear in the cabin. Huge Pretty stuffed bear lives there. in the cabin. Should I wrestle it for a few hours? Should I yes. search the bear or should I leave? You should wrestle it for I a think few it's time, hours. man. Coffee grapples with the stuffed bear. It doesn't budge. He keeps wrestling with the bear and somehow absorbs a little bit of its strength. There we go. <laughs> All right, nice. I'm a little bit stronger. But unfortunately, that passed time and we got swarmed in the meantime. So now I have to try to survive now this. Now you're stronger. I am. You can karate asshole your way out of these. There's, there's a lot of things you can wrestle in this game, including <laughs> the Sasquatch, if you find him. Moral oh, quandaries. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a feeling, because Joe's here, we're going to be wrestling a lot of things. Yeah, obviously. And that's unfortunately all there is to do in this map. Like I said, I've seen most of this stuff in this game, so... We're not missing anything yeah, other than that bear. So, yeah, honking the horn will attract zombies towards the car. So, generally it's a bad idea to honk, but I'll honk it next time we have a car. And we ran out of gas, so now we're on foot, and shit's gonna go really bad. Uh-oh. Weather turns really bad. Should be fine. We have to keep moving, but our morale decreased because of rain. And usually when it starts raining, the zombies get more aggressive. Uh, we oh, did. Oh, I'm real sad. We did find a cabin though, so our morale went up a little bit. Hopefully, we'll find a car. City ahead, rotten with zombies. Group knows that walking through a city street like this is a bad idea, but a car waits at the end of it. And we have no choice but to take it, so let's go. Oh, they won't let you not take the car? Uh, you can, you have a choice to do it, but. I never tried. Like I think but I can you exit had to now. Go through the city. You still have to. You have to go through the map, but I can leave at any time. Like if we want oh. the car, I have to go through the map. But if you want me to stay on foot and just constantly get screwed over, I can do that too. <laughs> no, I think it was opting if it was uh, avoidable. And uh, good, but if we can't get the car without it, then we you can it. avoid the car. Like. You like I said, I can leave right now I mean, if I wanted to. The avoiding the map. Oh, no. This is one of the in-between maps, so generally every time it throws you into a map like this, you have to pick it. You don't have a oh, choice man, to just- 49 gas. Oh yeah. So every time you find a new car, it will also start with gas in the tank itself, and I keep hitting the edge. Unfortunately- the, rain, the, the rainy day effect looks pretty good. We're getting I super swarmed. The stuff on the CD player was, I'm only happy when it rains. And I just died. Uh, we may oh. all die, unfortunately. Uh, sure. Well, it you could be worse. Do you get uh, to control a different character? Yes. Now, so as long as you have one person alive, you can continue. And unfortunately, Mike and me died. And I had to leave without the car because we got super swarmed and I made bad decisions. Alright, um, so we tried to camp, but we got attacked by a very angry bear. They're forced to abandon the camp with little sleep and must make a panic decision about what to grab fast. Do we take Man, all the food? We had someone who was used to wrestling bears on our team. Fight should we, the bear. Should we fight the fight bear? bear. Alright, let's bear. fight the bear. Group is ambushed by a bear while sleeping, decides to fight. Havoc ensues. We both got hurt. The bear retreats. Sure. Group is able to get back to sleep. So unfortunately... I'm a bear fighting expert. 
Shakewell is walking along the road when he's suddenly mauled by a feral cat. <laughs> feral you cats a bear, fine, but a cat, not so much. Feral cats cut the around. United States after the Zompocalypse. You never see them, but they're always cat. watching, waiting for any weakness. So unfortunately, Shakewell is one hit away from dying. Great. Good news is, Meat just went fishing, so we got some food, morale increased. We still don't have a car, though. And we found a random car. Shakewell sport spots a car parked in the middle of the road. They rush over to discover a car that looks suspiciously like the car they started their journey in. <laughs> <laughs> Shakewell takes the keys that he kept from the old car and sticks them in the ignition. It starts! Here we go again! <laughs> nice. Wow. Miserable camping. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible at night, so that's just eating food. Morale increased and decreased. Fortunately, we can't heal because we have no medical supplies. This is a really bad run right now. <laughs> and here we go, we can stop for supplies. We have a dead arcade, police headquarters, mall rescue, or we can drive around and waste more gas. Well, we're totally going to the arcade, right? Alright, let's go to the we arcade. Might have pinball. I think you have to go to the arcade now. It just seems like it's going to be an easy or path. Or Revolution so. X. Um, I'm going to take that tire iron and I'm going to put it on it's Eric because he doesn't have a weapon. Unfortunately, I'm controlling Eric right now. I can't control myself. Because you're dead. Because I died. I walked into a group of zombies when I should have just walked off the map. <laughs> it's very easy to make really bad decisions in this game. How long does a successful run take? Uh, every run I've done is usually about two and a half hours for a full run. There are modes that take less time, but the main mode is about two, two and a half hours. But you can save when you're in the, like, car. Uh, you can save your progress and pick it up at another time. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. Uh, there we go. So a lot of it is just learning how to kite around the zombies. It's, zombie AI is not really that good. They usually all bunch up. The main issue is once they start swarming you, you kind of get fucked if you don't have a good set of weapons or a good party. Which is sure what happened time. last time is, for the sake, like I said, for the sake of the stream, I'm trying to go a little bit faster than I usually would, and not scavenging as much, so we don't really have weapons or supplies. <laughs> why was there gas in the toilet? Uh, why not? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta hide some gas in the toilet, because you're gonna come back for it later. Like I said earlier, though, I am disappointed that we haven't gotten some of the other choices. There are a couple of choices that made me laugh out loud. Um, Can I was... find more people? Uh, I'm trying. You started uh, off with I wondered if... I wondered if... Oh, okay. So oh, well, I have party you, is, so. Party is four. Okay. Uh, like I said, we had four people. I died. Mike died. We both got eaten by zombies. Yeah, um, so that's just me and you, Eric. Just me and you. Buddies on the zombie... Go, gotta go do wrestling podcasts in the Zompocalypse. Does the size of the zombie head indicate its strength? Uh, no. Um, usually how easy it is to kill the zombie just basically depends on your stats. Like, the less strength you have, the more hits the zombies will take. But, um, guns don't uh, factor into that. Uh, the guns have their own strength, so weaker guns will take longer to kill zombies, and stronger guns will kill them in one hit regardless. Alright, we found an arcade machine. Arcade machine seems to be working. It's not very clear how it can run without electricity. Just talking me considers taking a video game break while he's guarded. Should he play the arcade game or leave it? Obviously, he yep. can play it. I don't even uh, let's play, it. Not play the game. Just talking me plays an old arcade game named Death Road to Canada and really gets into it. Like all video games ever made, playing it increases your skills with guns. The critics are right. Just before, before just talking me knew it, two hours had passed. So, Steven's better with shooting now, because video games. I can make Joe play it too, but that's gonna spend more time and we might get swarmed. So I think that was all there was in the arcade, unfortunately. There wasn't many supplies, but we got to play video games. And that's all that matters. What's that little sparkle in some of the doorways? Uh, the sparkle in the doorways usually means you haven't been in that room yet. Okay. But, um... There are effects that kind of look like it that I have on. There's sort of like a 
I don't have film green on, but there's like the scratch effect, and sometimes that messes with you and acts yeah. like there's a sparkle there. Yeah, I see that. But there was definitely one in that other room, mm. but it's probably not working. I'm just trying to go fast for the stream, so... Hey, we found yeah. Keller, mate. Gotta go fast. Uh -oh. He's yelling at survivors oh, because God. they also We're made doomed. fun of his hair, even though he doesn't have any. <laughs> Alright, so let's go through. Group accepts Keller. is oblivious. Yes, he's, a, he's an oblivious <laughs> healthcare nut. Sounds about right. Meat says, if you tie a string around your finger real tight, your finger turns purple. <laughs> Solid advice. His attitude is super That's positive. Pretty right. good advice. So a group finds a gas station far off the main road. Someone has looted the store and there's no zombies in sight. The gas pumps are old and don't seem to be functioning. Uh, we can either have Steven attempt to so fix the pump. You could have Anthony into the tank. Yeah, right. I really think that's the best <laughs> Anthony yeah. crawls into the yeah. tank. Yeah. Yeah. Calories yeah. volunteers to climb into the tanks. He discovers that climbing into the tanks is completely exhausting. Calories gets into <laughs> the tank but is injured on the way. Getting out is another matter. So unfortunately, his fitness is horrible, and he's hurt. We're we're wow, just slowly real. killing ourselves off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that, that didn't work out at all. Who'd have thought climbing into the tank in a gas station would be a bad idea? Group meets another person just chilling on a park bench. He seems friendly. They have conversation, just like before the world ended. What was the main topic? Either we can do advice exchange, pep talk, or Shake Well can say, "Give me your stuff." <laughs> 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 Alright, Joe robs him. Shake will easily <laughs> robs the friendly person. He didn't have much, but that will teach him an important lesson in trusting others. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like how Calorie is happy about this. <laughs> so is Eric. So that's the trait of being oblivious, is you're always happy no matter what goes on. <laughs> Alright. The morning that moose. Sounds about right. In the morning, there's a moose outside the camp. It looks injured and it's just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is a really powerful creature. It's probably best not to mess with it. We can leave it alone. Calories can treat its injury. Meat can you shoot up a the Canadian moose. Accent? Is this yeah. on? Is that what's happening? And Shake will wrestles the moose. Should we wrestle I think, it? I think I calories think that, needs to treat no, it. No, I think calories should treat it. Yeah, so that right. the moose you may you may kill him off, I'm just warning you now. That's the moose or the calories? Moose? Calories mate tries to help the injured moose. He doesn't know much about caring for a moose and ends up angering it. The moose flings out a hard kick to Calories. <laughs> calories is hurt. He's one hit away from death now. <laughs> or no, he's not. He's actually half health. <laughs> yeah, they've been healing up in the car. Something something Monty Python reference. Sorry to rain over <laughs> the city. Uh, this is a siege map. So we have a pharmacy or we have a strength and fitness gym. Pharmacy will have medical supplies. Strength and fitness gym will probably have nothing. I'll just keep what we have. I don't know what calories has as a weapon, but we'll figure it out. Apparently he has a rebar on him, I think. Which is just gonna tire Bar him. Bar and rebar, we're walking down the street. I think he's gonna tire himself really fast because he's not fit. Small Greens Drug is the name of the pharmacy. Hopefully we find something in here. Small Greens. <laughs> Small grin, Small I grin, yeah. So all the store names are randomized too. Oh yeah? They're not always the same. Uh, the only one that's always the same is the big department store called the Yalmart. <laughs> can you run over the zombies with a shopping cart? No. Uh, yes, you can. Can you so evo it? Can you get in there? And you then... cannot ride the shopping cart, but throwing uh, things at zombies is actually... Sad useful like it's better than hitting them with your weapon sometimes because it doesn't use stamina mm. it's there um houses that we can look in on this map or uh, they all, it doesn't they all look like it. it looks like most of them are closed down so we got one medical supply out of that i think two two i thought we get two <clears throat> yeah I think i'll find two. out when we get out i forgot to honk the horn so i'll honk it this time which is probably going to get us killed but you said bring a bunch of zombies. It attracts the zombies. Yeah. And chicks. So that's the thing with, um, have, yeah, have, if you have a dog in your, in your party, you can use down. a dog to <laughs> bark, and the bark will also attract zombies towards the dog and away from everyone else. Yeah. Abandoned gun range. Group finds a gun range. It's empty and mostly picked to clean supplies. However, they find some shooting targets and a working pistol. We can either search for ammo, train the group haphazardly, or careful carefully train one person. <laughs> I think <laughs> I know what you're gonna think. Alright. Everyone decides to all blast Everyone their targets at once in the dark gun range. No thought is given as to whether or not this is a good idea. Whatever. Everyone's hurt. 
I already got hurt twice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Do what I want. That seems about right. So you all end up shooting each other. Good job. Wow, we didn't get anything good out of that. No more creepy pastas. The group is sitting around a campfire, resting before a brutal day tomorrow. The group eats a decent meal. So we can either tell scary stories or actually get some sleep. <sighs> Let me tell you about the one with the guy with the hook on the mirror of the car. So you're going to tell scary sleep. stories? I've heard that. Let's get some sleep. Are you sure? What? Oh man, what about this one where there was this kid show and no one can quite remember how it was, but it sounds really creepy. I'm hearing two for scary stories. Joe? There was a clown in the sewer, but really it's a spider. Sorry, we're calling scary stories right now, so you have to pick that one. The group decides to tell scary stories. Calories makes a scary story about laughing goblins. Everyone's morale increases. The group has fun, but doesn't get enough sleep, and now we're all tired. And also kinda dying. How come they're flashing laughing goblins? It's a spooky. Yeah, is something gonna happen like with that later on? Or? Uh, it's a spooky nightclub. For there is an event goblins. you can find where you have to search for a goblin. And we lost our car again because we ran out of gas. We don't have a supply. We don't really have supplies. While walking along a dirt road, Calories thought he spotted a car in the distance. It was only when he got close to that he realized it was just a giant rock. Good job, Calorie mate. <laughs> This is, like, what a, this is like a time with Anthony simulator. <laughs> <laughs> After a long walk, the group decides to set up camp. Unfortunately, the group is assaulted by mosquitoes during the night. Oh, I hate that. And we get no sleep. So everything's going to shit. I think we also ran out of food. And calories can't heal anybody because we have no supplies. <laughs> Do any of you guys listen to the Beef and Dairy Network podcast? <laughs> no. no. It's one of the... <laughs> There's a recurring character, and he made a, <laughs> a theme park called Mosquito Mayhem, where it was just filled a place with a bunch of different mosquitoes from all over the world that had different diseases. <laughs> it's a pretty good podcast. <laughs> so we found an <laughs> SUV. Malaria. I can't remember what the malaria one was. Is it a podcast or a radio drama? It's it's a pod. It's a fake podcast about the beef and dairy industry, but. Uh, it's like hosted as if that's what it was but it's really just like british comedians doing weird improv so okay. we found a garage called car pros we got some right. gas <laughs> and now we can choose to either repair the car that we just found it was an suv yeah, or it. just drive away the the car is fine, isn't it? just talking to me tries to repair the car <laughs> all right so i think he no he has no idea what he's doing and wastes the day's time pretending to work on the car <laughs> Good job. Life. Uh, so, I didn't say before because you guys are talking, but um, we found an SUV. The SUV is durable but slow, but don't think about taking it off ramps. The sad warning. thing is, he does know uh -oh. what he's doing, but it still takes all day. We got our first yeah. fight. Just Talking Meat says that someone in the group isn't pulling their weight and demands that they be kicked out. Who should leave the group? We have to make Coffee. a decision. I'm Coffee. not in the group. Out That's of the group. why you're not you pulling your weight. You can kick yourself out of the group. Do you want Joe to be alone with Kelly, mate? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good Serves point. Right. <laughs> it's your think, decision. I think, I think, the calories have such a great attitude. <laughs> How many people have wrestled bears? Uh, I, think wrestled bears. I mean, I wrestled a stuffed bear, Coffee, but that got Coffee wrestled a bear, and then, yeah, he got killed. So. And he died, yeah. Kurt. He died. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. We'll keep calorie mate, but one of you has to leave. Which one of you wants to see him die? In person. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're probably going to kill him in the next decision. I, think I feel like, I feel like Eric would here, go though. off to, to I'm done. hike right. off by himself Peace. into the woods. <laughs> the group kicks Just Talking Meat out for being a dingus. <laughs> just Talking Meat so it's off Someone and isn't pulling their weight and it's Cal me. Calorie <laughs> smiles a little. Apparently kicking meat increased Calorie Meat's morale. What a dick. That uh, guy, am I right? We can visit a trader camp. Uh, let me see. If I have a whole to... day named after. Hey, me. here we go. That's where it started. Mastic is hanging around the camp. He has been waiting for you to show up. What? Yeah, we found Kurt. All right. Wow. Worth it. I didn't think but I was unfor in it. Unfortunately, we can't buy anything because we have no food. Can't we trade some gas for food? Can you recruit Kurt Otho from the Beetlejuice over there on the top right? Or you can't do that. Uh, <laughs> where's the top right? Yeah, he must be selling food. Guess is next yeah, right. conversion, so... Oh, we can rob somebody if you want. But that's probably gonna get us killed. It does look like Aetha, though. We got a lot of gas, I think we I can think... buy some food. Yeah. Alright, so 25 or 50? Screwed. 
25. Right. We've run out of gas a lot of times, so I, I don't... So we got two food for that. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think that's going to be enough for three people. This man is selling anime I'm and anime accessories from a converted food truck. I am doing my part to keep civilization together, one anime sale at a time. <laughs> you have two food left. We can either buy Rob no anime, or we can Rob buy five shirts. This motherfucker. <laughs> Shake while Rob's the traitor. Kills son. <laughs> Shake while Rob's the traitor of some swords and shuriken, but smashes some perfectly usable animes in the process. The other members are dragged into it. Well, usable. <laughs> and unfortunately, robbing the traitor means we have to run. Yeah, well, we're really happy about smashing the enemy, though. <laughs> yeah, man. I think it's another life, siege map. Ooh. Yep. That guy's morale is in the tank. Uh, I'm gonna give Kurt a pistol. Uh, unfortunately, the otaku katanas are super weak and really bad, so it may uh, have been a bad decision to take it. Yeah, sure, They're not well, made of I... folded steel? Uh... There is another katana you can find that's they're, better. They're fake, made in China. Super, oh shit, this is a sewer map. Uh, yeah, it's not that. Unfortunately, the sewer maps are like the worst thing you can get, because they have no supplies in them. They're literally can just, just get out. Uh, I can't just leave through the exit, I have to fight my way through. I'm gonna try yeah, to do it quick. flush at least a couple supplies down the toilet every day? There are, like, random rooms you can find that may have a gun in it, but the chances... But they are also crocodiles. Uh, unfortunately not. I wish there were, no. There is a crocodile event you can find where you can wrestle a crocodile. Nice. Does the crocodile drain your team? Uh, no. <laughs> um, so are dogs the only animals you can get to drain your team? Apparently you can get cats in your team too, but I haven't found a cat itself. I found a crazy cat lady who throws cats at zombies yeah, as a party a member. That's a Simpsons reference. Yeah. So... <clears throat> like I said earlier, my favorite mode is the rare characters mode because that's where you get all like the super weird shit going on. Um, I'm shocked. I mean, <laughs> like playing the game normal is fun, but it's more fun to just see the stupid shit that they and calories made just died because I'm an idiot. Well, anyway, if we all get killed, then you should play a game with the. Uh, the I can do that characters. now if you want. No, no, no. I, I want to see, see the end. I see, see how you. Death. Well, I'm playing as you know, so... I want to see my inevitable demise. I don't know that that's going to happen, because Kurt's a fucking crack shot. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, Kurt's <laughs> fucking... The thing about giving the I'm AI... i way more, way more fed than the rest of you. <laughs> the thing about giving the AI bullets, though, is they kind of go through them, them like crazy. Yeah. Uh, that's a dead Call end. Call that Resident Evil 5 syndrome? Yes. So... Right. Like... That's it's why in Resident Evil 5 you only give your AI partners some machine guns and all of a sudden machine gun ammo. Because mm -hmm. who cares about that shit anyway? Just don't play it with an AI partner. Yeah, I mean, that's I'll the real that. solution, right? Like, Nobody should ever have to, because Eric's always up yeah, for you. You make, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you make calorie, or uh, you make coffee play that. I'm just trying to get through the Sarah really fast. This is a long one. Do you get anything from killing zombies? Or uh, things? no. It's better to try to avoid them. Just like in real life. Than anything else. It's, um... What is it? The... I mean, you're forced to fight in, like, the survival maps. Just because there's no other option. That looks like a way out. Yeah. So I was just trying to rush through that as fast as possible, because sewer maps are the worst thing you can get. <clears throat> How did our car get to the other side of the sewer? Uh, don't ask. Group feels inspired after surviving that, so it's, it's, a, it's a it's a similar <laughs> car that works with the same keys. So oh, see, that that exchange seems very true to life to me. Reminder: we only have Joe and Kurt in the party, so we can either increase our morale and get a random skill gain, strength, shooting, or fitness. I strength think morale. is morale. All right, so we got morale. Every day is great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Mm. Uh, so Kurt's shooting increased and Joe's fitness increased. True words were never. Fortunately, we're still short on supplies. Joe says the bigger the weapon, the more things I can hit in one swing. So we found a campsite. Um, the survivors there camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. We can either rob camp them with them. them. All right, Joe's gonna rob them. <laughs> Jake has an easy time robbing the peaceful camp. The group quickly steals food and then speeds off. They drive through the night and are tired the next day. Nice food. Joe's just an asshole this playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> it's working out. It is though. effective. Yeah. <laughs> I make the hard decisions. All right, so we got. Right. You're not here to make friends. 
right, so two more choices. We can either do cabin rescue or gas station station siege. So the gas I'll station would be rescue. a survival. The cabin rescue we can leave at any time, but we have a chance of getting supplies. Let's do the so, cabin because you can still we can get another person, right? Yeah, but it's going to be a randomly generated person. That's, yeah, well, we've uh, killed off all the people we know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did we? Have we? Do we have one? Wait, no. Yeah, no. We well, no. Eric is dead. He just left. You well, they, you're not going to re-recruit. He's wandering. Him, so. He's wandering the the wasteland. Oh, we found a chainsaw. Still working the otaku katana. Yes. That actually break. looks more like Louis C.K. than Joe, though. <laughs> <laughs> so we found a chainsaw, which is the best weapon in the game. Unfortunately, it takes gas. Oh. So oh. is there a hammer over there too? Uh, I'll check in a second. Here's the guy we have to rescue. Jean Jean Marie says she really wants to get out of this place. Sure. Let's... I should get a tennis racket. Tennis racket's actually a pretty good weapon. I don't... Oh, this is a survival map, so we do have to survive. We may die in here. I should have not come in Bust here. Bust up the chainsaw! Can you do that? Yep. No. Here we go. Use it or lose it, man. Name's <coughs> Ash. Housewares. <laughs> I think go. there's a hammer over there on the ground. On yeah, the, the so that's a rubber things. mallet. The rubber mallet's yeah. actually pretty bad. All it does is knock yeah. them back further, but doesn't actually really do damage. All right. That is not how rubber mallets work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there's our survivor. We can recruit her to the team. She can give us 10 medical supplies, or she can give us some group strength training. 10 medical supplies? That sounds good, no? Yeah, Up to really. you guys. Yeah. They're the ones the, making the, the choice. The, the medical supplies seems like the better idea. Alright. So we take medical supplies, but there's only two people. Joe wants to take the car off some sweet jumps. <laughs> yep. That's it. Do it. All right, so that's, that seems like a bad idea. Uh, there, there may be a choice to do it. So far, this run hasn't had any of the interesting decisions you can make. I'll talk about them after this run. Rob so <laughs> you just want me to rob everyone we come across? Let me see if there's anybody else we can recruit first. Alright, fine. Call him Robin Joe Driller. Candy is hanging around the camp. Team with no one to follow. Should we recruit a dog? Hell yeah. yeah. Yes, Alright, let's course. take a dog. Can we steal the dog? Uh, we cannot steal the dog. No. There are dog merchants you can get. And if I had Eric still in the party, he could talk to the dog merchant and haggle with him. <laughs> uh, eat food. I'm not going to take anything. You want me to rob the guy? I mean, yes. I rob this guy. We can either rob the guy with pipe bombs, or we can rob the guy that gives us bullets. Can't rob a guy to get food? Uh, unfortunately, no. Unless it's a specific traitor, which isn't in this camp. Do we want to? Which one do we want to rob? I don't know which one's better. Uh, I mean, dropping bullets will help Kurt, I guess. Let's rob. Let's, well, let's, yeah, let's rob. Sure. Bruce robbery yeah. attempt ends up messy. Seller has two loaded assault rifles. She fires them wildly, one in each hand, spraying ammo everywhere. Everyone's hurt. Got a bunch of rifle ammo. Candy twice. and Joe are almost dead, but we have supplies. Joe's healed. Hey, 43 Can't bullets. Believe she shot our dog. Group finds an abandoned safe house. A little bit of ammo. On Can further searching. Canada. Uh. I don't remember. I guess see you next time when we get out of here. So we found a abandoned safe house that has unfinished pipe bombs. Make Someone the, must have make the fucking pipe bomb. Are you sure? Sure? Look at Kurt Sprite yeah. and tell me that's not a person. That <laughs> yeah, he does look like the Unabomber. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Matchstick attempts to finish making the bombs. He isn't comfortable enough with work like this and makes a mistake. Whoops! Matchstick is killed. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's just Joe and the dog, it's though. Mechan mechanical revealed, frowny face. <laughs> Why do we all suck so bad at machines? The group sits yeah, up camp Eric day. was supposed to be good at fixing things. But he's like, not in the party. Gave him. No, right. but like he was shitty when we had him try to fix the car. He just pretended. I don't think he ever tried... <laughs> Or there, there was nothing to fix. It, it may have fun. been the car type, because certain car types are car higher mechanical, and you have to train yourself in it. <laughs> How um, tired are we? I think we're pretty tired. We've been robbing people and yeah. driving right. off. So I, I did not see this before. Um, so I'm looking at the stats. 
Uh, Joe is tired. The dog's not tired. Shakewell was really well suited for the post-apocalypse, mostly due to being a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so do we want to just sleep because well, you're tired? If I'm, not, if I'm not that tired, then me and the dog should get You are tired, this. but it will well, make... I'm tired. Well, let's go to sleep then, if All right. I'm tired. If there's only two of us, we should be... Who doesn't really want to pick berries for eight hours? The also, dogs are really bad at <laughs> yeah. berries. The good thing about having a dog in your party, too, is you use one less food for the dog. My dog my dog actually knows how to pick raspberries. She goes out back and plucks them right. very delicately. Does she pick them in a basket for you? Off the, off the bush. No, yeah. she picks them for herself. The group there meets a man is. trying to repair his broken car. He clearly <laughs> has know, no idea what he's go. doing. <laughs> Joe can either help fix the car, <laughs> Joe can steal the supplies, or no time to help. I mean, I mean, at this point, can rob him. Yeah. <laughs> Shake will easily rob the stranded man of his supplies, even his wrench. <laughs> Good job, Joe. <laughs> oh wow! This we is how you survive so much by being a may jerk. May not be good at. Uh... We may not be good at mechanical stuff, but we're Candy's good morale at forcing decreases. somebody to take their... So we found a random person. We can ask them to join or leave. Can you rob them? Unfortunately not. Uh, let's, 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 ask Kelly Kelly, let's ask yeah. Kelly to join. Uh, is needed. that DeForest Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got three people in the group now. Unfortunately, that's going to use oh, more we got two people here. and a dog. The dog's per dog is a person, too. The dog, dog counts if... A dog is not a person. A dog is much better than a person. Uh, I'm gonna paint the junkyard with the car because I don't oh, yeah, want to do another sewer. Stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> the sewers are fucking terrible, and I don't want to deal with that. Should you can maybe find some gas at the junkyard? Uh, probably. We can get a new car at the junkyard. Yeah. Is our car in bad shape? Uh, no, oh, but usually... Yes. Ooh, it's a police car. So a police car is one of the better cars in the game, too. It's fast and has a uh, low gas usage. They can jump over drawbridges. Yes. <laughs> yes but, um, yeah. So in maps like this with cars, we basically have to go around the map and try to find the key to the car, which can literally be anywhere. Can it be inside a zombie? Uh, it can't be inside of a zombie, but it can be inside of buildings. It's right there, I just found it. So. There's a dumpster. Yeah, you can loot dumpsters too. Junkyards are pretty good for yeah, like yeah. bullets and stuff like that. Like they have a bunch so of wait, how many road. how many days to uh seven days so and we're halfway yes um it should take slightly less time too if we manage to keep the police car because the police car actually goes through the road faster like i said before the slower your car is the longer it takes but the faster your car is the faster you get to the end i'm just What's gonna... the, what are the green drops coming out of your character then? Uh, oh, dead. so that's your stamina. When you start sweating, um, it makes you can't attack for a while and you can't switch weapons. Alright, so we found a magazine in good condition among the ruined magazines and books. The magazine's title is Swole. <laughs> <laughs> so once we're done with this, we'll eventually be able to use that on somebody. It's about everybody's favorite new Pokemon. <laughs> I really like the writing in this game. The writing is the best part of this game. That's why I was saying I think I like this as a roguelike because of the rating. Like, it doesn't take itself seriously at all. It's constantly making poop jokes and stupid jokes. Yeah, but they're actually kind of funny as opposed to... I don't think I've seen a poop joke yet. Uh, there are in here. Alright, so we have... Fart joke. So we can use a magazine. Um, who do we want to use it on? I'm uh, assuming Joe. The dog. Alright, let's use small one. Use it on the dog. Candy completely ruins the magazine. Seems like someone doesn't appreciate fine literature. Good job. So that would have increased somebody's strength if we actually that gave it to somebody that wasn't a dog. <laughs> Alright, so found a non useless junk shop. We can either go to sleep or we can tinker with uh, things and try to increase our repairing. But we'll lose out on sleep. Do you need sleep? You don't need sleep now, right? You just slept, uh, right? Yeah, but it'll make us tired the next day. Yeah, but we all okay. suck so bad at repairing right. stuff. Or yeah. Who should tinker with the know. broken machinery? Kelly might, might be Dog. good at... Do you want to do Joe or Kelly to tinker? Can we make the dog tinker with the machines? No, <laughs> it's not going to be a choice. I think sometimes you can, but it's not giving it to me now. We don't know about Kelly, and we don't know... If anyone's going to be expendable, then we're just going to push Kelly off the cliff, so... Alright, so yeah. Joe... <laughs> Joe spends all night tinkering stuff apart and putting them back together. It's very noisy, and your mechanical is slightly better, but it's still kind of bad. And everyone's tired. 
So basically, you tinkering made everyone tired. Group meets a woman limping around with a crutch. One of her legs was wounded in recent you fall, and she was... The car. Uh, I didn't get to the choices yet. Okay. So she's hurt. We can either say no time to help, Kelly can help her leg, or shake while you steal her supplies. <laughs> Just push down and then hit A. Alright. Shake will easily rouse the winded woman of what little supplies she had left. Way to go! <laughs> oh, our poor dog's gonna be real pissed. Hey, Joe's the one that survived longer than us. Well, Ooh, driving Kelly a car. Is super loyal because uh -oh. he doesn't want Joe to fuck Kelly's getting Kelly in an argument with a dog. She can keep wow. driving an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break for a day or she can drive faster. I like drive faster, yeah. Kelly gets agitated by the wrong. argument and drives steadily faster. The argument ends abruptly when he accidentally rams into a flagpole. That's great. <laughs> I think he just got hurt too, or everyone may have got hurt. Alright, so... We have another siege, or survival. We can either go to the bar or we can go to an apartment with a help banner on it. The help banner will usually get us another person, but I think everyone wants yeah, to go the to the bar. the bar will get us liquor. Let's find out. <laughs> I don't know what the bar will give us. I don't think I've ever actually been to the bar. If I was in the apocalypse, I know which one I'd want. Yeah, the bar is definitely the place to go, uh, according to Shaun of the Dead. Alright, so we're going sure. to Moe's Pub. Go to the Winchester and wait till this whole thing blows we up. We found a shotgun, we found a pool stick, and we found a drunk person. Jacob has seen this kind of thing before. This person clearly drank too much soda, judging from the bottles lying around. Now she's in need of food even to even out her blood sugar. Might be some food in a nearby building. We can either leave her alone or poke her for four hours. <laughs> so I have a choice to that. Come on. So uh, wrong. Poke her for four hours. Shakel pokes Bulla to wake her up from her sleep. It takes four consecutive hours of continuous poking. Okay, I'm awake. She says she'll follow you for a while. Also that you should meet her outside of town if you both make it. Nice. And unfortunately that made zombies come into the building. So... She took the axe, which is good. We're getting swarmed, so I gotta fight a little bit. I can actually get out of here. Is that a pool cue that Joe's using? Yes. And I like that I that I that I use it by like I'm lining up a pool yeah. shot and just. <laughs> I'm not gonna search the other houses because we're running out of time. Okay. So we found some shotgun shells. Lola catches up with the group. She offers a reward. We can either recruit her, get group medical training, or group fitness training. Bring her along so that way you can bring rob her, her later. Uh, I don't think you can rob your own teammates, but... Okay. but bring her along. Well, you'll need somebody to, like, throw into the uh, thresher when you rob the next people. So I'm gonna <laughs> stop the run if Joe ever dies. Because that's all of us. <laughs> There's no find to well, play. No, I think, if, I think if I dog, if I and the dog both die, all right. then... But I mean, the dog, the dog still around. The dog may make it all the way. So we lost the car. Group is sitting duck for bandits. Group is ambushed by awkward bandits that apologize for the robbery. They are likely new at this. They demand, <laughs> they demand the remainder of your food and a quarter of your ammo and medical supplies. We can either give fight, in or fight, refuse and fight. Fight! Group knows every single one of their supplies are essential for their chances of reaching Canada, so they fight. Everyone gets hurt. Oh, you don't actually have to fight them? No. The branch. While trekking through the woods, the group gets pretty lost. If they keep going like this, they'll waste a lot of time. Bola can climb a tree to look around, or we can keep wandering blindly. Maybe she's really good at climbing. Climb the tree. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't fall out of it and break her neck. That is a thing, but it seems like it succeeded. So, she spots something in the distance. Got to see a majestic view in her. She's the only one happy. And we found a car. A fast car, but it's going to use a lot of gas. Is it going to keep bags. on driving? You have no gas, right? Alright, so... I said We're... hybrid cars have amazing gas mileage. Does it? Hmm. Yeah. It said, yeah. I didn't realize we had a hybrid car. All right, um... The dog should take the watch. Alright. Candy <laughs> yeah, stays so... on watch for roving zombies. He manages to stay awake, but feels groggy in the morning. So we survived that. Yeah. There is a chance yeah, to get hurt for a sleepy, sleepy dog. <laughs> so cute. See, the, that, this game gets knocked a point for not having dog realism, though, because the dog could sleep, and if it heard anything even remotely close, <laughs> yeah. it would pop up and start barking. Right. Yeah, but so, then the whole team would be tired the next day. So we've got bandits again. They're, they speak in half-whisper, whisper, afraid to attract them that attention. They say to hand them over some supplies, or they'll yell. Don't have the food, or call their bluff. Fuck them. Call Rob the bluff. Them. 
These guys oh, don't realize they're messing with the professional teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we called the bluff, and we got out safely, because they were inexperienced. I really think you should be able to rob them back. Right. Uh, let's go to the trader camp and see what they have. We're probably going to wind up robbing person again. <laughs> All right. Group talks to a meek looking woman. She invites you to check out her collection of rifles. Unfortunately, we don't have enough food. I was going to say you need to rob, rob the food person, right? Uh, we can rob a person for gas. <clears throat> we can rob a person for medical supplies. Mm hmm. What do we need the most? I, I like that I'm just immediately defaulting to robbing people now, because that's all we've been doing all run. <laughs> well, let's... Penalty let's for it. We should rob the food person, because we have a hybrid car that's got good gas. I don't think there is a person. A food person. It was a... Uh, it was that person... The, the person that I talked food? to the first time was, um... Was it, she'll sell you guns for food, but we didn't have food. Uh, ten units of gas, so... What do we want to rob somebody for? Bullets, gas, medical supplies, or yeah, is this food? Our dog's almost dead. Oh, this is food. You said you want to rob for food, right? Yeah, I think we should rob is the food. best choice. Shakel knocks the man over, grabs a sack of food, and runs. The other members are dragged into it. Morale, morale. I honestly didn't feet. expect Joe to last this long. <laughs> Joe is really excited uh -oh. about robbing all these people. <laughs> Kelly demands that either Shaco leaves or Kelly does. I think we're kicking Bye, Kelly. Kelly. Yep. Bye. Joe's gotta stay. He's the main character right now. The group Bye, runs Joe. into a horde too thick to drive past. Oh, uh, this is a siege map. Yeah. All right. So this is another survival map. Apparently, Candy's holding a beer bottle. I don't know why. It's getting fucked up. Horde size overwhelming. Really that bodes well. Right, bring the chainsaw. Alright. Can the dog use the chainsaw? Uh, I certain know. dogs can, but I don't think this one. Can. Really? You certain need a, dogs? Yes. Yeah. Like I said earlier, I recruited a dog in another one of my playthroughs that could use guns. The and dog has weapons. to have a chainsaw proficiency. You'd think a husky could use a chainsaw, but actually there are no trees up there, so they have no idea. <laughs> oh, no, that's a bad idea to go in that building. So all is the, the siege gas. the siege is time based? You yeah, say? so it's basically just like survive for five minutes or so. Oh, somebody died. Dog died. Oh shit. Uh, this game sucks. Bullet might die too. Looks like she's gonna. No, I not. may have to use the chainsaw. Uh, did you guys know that there's a website called Does the Dog Die where it just tells you like you can put in the name of the movie and it'll tell you if the dog dies before the end. I, I did know that, yes. Can't be that many movies where that's a real issue, right? Uh, you'd be Looks like, are the zombies swarming the corpse of your fallen ally? Yeah, so if somebody that's... dies, they'll immediately... Oh! Uh, out of gas. <laughs> so somebody... So Joe's the only one alive. Bola died, too. So if somebody dies, the zombies will swarm the dead body, and that will distract them for a bit and allow you to get away, but Good. you're also losing out on supplies. Oh boy. Joe gets bruised and battered. It's hurt. Your morale decreased. You got you get attacked by ants while trying to camp, and you're hurt again. Wow. Karma is a bitch. <laughs> you might not make it. You're at one health. And I nope. You stubbed your toe badly. It's not a big deal, but it's really annoying. Your morale decreased again. You're still alive though. This shit just happy. gonna die, not by zombies, but just a thousand <laughs> tiny cuts. And now you have to <laughs> fight your from a rough road, and you have to fight your way to a car now. It's a very thick swarm, but they're calm. Use the shotgun. Oh, it's man. a nice, it's a nice coupe truck. <clears throat> you have thirty-two shotgun shells. Yeah, there's no point in hanging on to them. I gotta find the keys to your car. And I'm only five days out. away from reaching Canada. <laughs> there are the keys. That. Let's see if I can get out this door. So the thing about the gun one is, person, you don't need food. The guns are really good, but if you don't have a proficiency in the guns, you miss a lot of your shots. Uh, I, see, I see that. So, but higher gun proficiency, you can do stuff like bounce bullets off walls and things like that. 
trick shots. Of course he can. What's that, what's that like knife up in the top there? Uh, the rusty machete. It's not very good. It's more, it's a strong weapon, but it's like lower tier of strong weapons. <clears throat> oh man, I'm driving an ice cream truck. Yep, you're That's the only amazing. one there too. I'm gonna eat all this ice cream. That's how you're surviving. <laughs> Joe gets a stomach ache and dies. And you're <laughs> you're inspired by surviving. So do you want morale and random skill gain, Joe, or do you want to be Joe mechanical? Joe eats all ice cream and gets type pretty happy. diabetes. So increase his mechanical or get a random skill. I guess uh, morale and skill is better than just skill. Yeah, morale and skill is yeah better than just your shooting skill. increased. There you That's go. good. It seems like. <clears throat> you also it's brag about how much you can bench press. You're actually pretty good at shooting it's now. To yourself. In particular. It's uh, all that shooting in the dark. Yeah. Jake will camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. He looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. You can either fight them off, drive away with no sleep, or shoot, shoot golf balls. Shoot, go shoot golf balls. At all the right. Jake will clubs a bunch of golf balls into the zombie heads. Pretty good exercise, but soon he's overwhelmed by them. He escapes, but spends the night hiding in a closet. He's exhausted in the morning. Your fitness increased, your morale decreased, you didn't take any damage, thankfully, <laughs> so you're still alive. I don't know he how. Tired, apparently. But I was hiding in a closet. Oh, now it says you're tired. Uh, ooh. So, well, we have another looting thing. We can either rescue the danger rangers, or we can oh, go to the stash in the wood. I yeah, think we're going to not the danger rescue rangers. the danger rangers, man. Shakel sees four people in bright shiny outfits. They're running around <laughs> punching zombies and doing little poses. They get overwhelmed by the swarm and flee in different directions. <laughs> I mean, I feel like nothing but good things can happen if I manage to rescue the danger rangers. So. Let's bring the shotgun. Yeah. You can use the chainsaw if you really want. I don't think we have any gas in the chainsaw. Also, no, there's there's no gas in the chainsaw. Oh, the chainsaw gas is separate from the car gas? You use up car gas to refill the chainsaw, but you have to manually do it. Like, you have to take it in your inventory and take it out. I don't know, where are the danger rangers? Uh, so they're in random houses. You have to find uh -huh. which house they're in. Um, this also tends to get glitched sometimes. The first time I got to this, um... There's supposed to be four of them, but I only found two that spawned. <laughs> That's so, fantastic. you recruit three of them to your team? You can't re uh, you just died. I could not make it through there. Alright, so you died trying to save the Danger Rangers. Uh, it's a noble cause. Well, yeah, 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 at least it was a just a noble And class. it just in time, too, because it's 10.58. Anyway, yeah. um, that's Death Road to Canada, if maybe we'll do another one of these. Um, like I said, just to go through the other options you can get for ch decisions you have to make. Um, every so often you'll find a box with food in it, but the box will have dog poop on it. And you have to pick one of your members to open the box. And um, so... I had Eric and I had a dog in my party, and Eric is fine with opening the box because he's friends with dogs and he's used to picking up dog poop. Mm -hmm. uh, if you choose a dog to do it, the dog That's will just eat life, the. Son. If you choose a dog, the dog will just eat the poop. Do they gain food from that or lose food? From uh, they gain food, and everyone yeah, else will be grossed out by it. Real life. <laughs> um, for the ra rare characters, uh, just some of the ones you can find, you can find Elvis, who's really good at karate. Um, you can find an anime girl who, every day that passes, her face gets more anime until it starts to melt, and then she explodes. Whoa. <laughs> um, who else? Like I said, I found a dog that, uh, is good at guns. Like, he's, he's the only dog in the game that can shoot. Um, I found Link, but it's not Link, it's L, and then a random Val... Uh, NK, so the first one I found was named Lunk, and he starts with a sword, and every time he attacks, he just yells really loud, and attracts more zombies. <laughs> so, it's, like I said, if you're gonna play this game, uh, it's fun to play with custom characters, but playing the rare characters mode is probably the way to play this, just because of how stupid the game can get. Um, it's $15 on Steam, uh, $8 if you buy it on iOS. But this game goes on sale on Steam all the time, so it's basically, do you want to play it at your computer, or do you want to play it on the go? I personally think it works better <laughs> on iOS, but you also have to fight with touchscreen controls. Hmm. So... This isn't decisions. Yes. But this is a fun game. People should support cool. it. I Thank want them to make more games like this. And that's on the stick after dark. Thanks. <laughs> Yay! Well done, Carpy. Yeah. Alright, good night, everyone. Night.